I think they're really most passionate about agriculture because it's been in their upbringing. They really saw their fathers and grandfathers and great grandfathers being involved in this business. And it's really been a culture that they've grown up with. They made a decision to come to Florida. I made a commitment to Florida, the state of Florida, to Florida agriculture, to sugarcane, to sustainable farming, um, and, and the community, which is, a, which is, I think, is what we are today. And that long-term, enduring commitment that they've made has been extraordinary and a great vision. Brothers Alfonso and Pepe Fanjul own and farm some of the finest sugarcane fields in the nation. Located mostly in Palm Beach County, the family's Florida Crystals Corporation was founded as a sugarcane farming and milling company in 1960 and has been producing high-quality sugar for more than 50 years. In that time, the company has expanded, and today its Florida agricultural operations include two sugar mills, a sugar refinery, a rice mill, a packaging and distribution center, and the largest biomass renewable power plant in North America. Like many Cuban Americans, their journey began fleeing hardships of the communist revolution. As young men, they watched officials seize farms and homes that had been in their family for generations. After Castro came in, I was there when uh, basically uh, they told us they were going to take our properties away. And uh, they, uh, it was a really unpleasant experience. When we think it was traumatic for us, it, would, it was, but I, I think how brave my grandparents were and parents were and what a, what a must have been for them, it must have been devastated. Devastated but not destroyed, the family returned to the crop they knew well. They purchased several thousand acres of property near Lake Okeechobee and some derelict sugar mill machinery shipped in by barge from Louisiana. The Von Hools then began the tedious process of scratching a living out of one of the most rural areas of South Florida. They ran into water moccasins and we ran into sort of uh, uh, the, the, the coral snakes and alligators and, um, and then the, the whole thing in the, in the, in the farm. John Hundley is Alfonso and Pepe's neighbor and fellow sugar farmer. He knows how difficult farming this land can be and applauds the family's accomplishments. You know, to lose what you have and have to go to a foreign country and, and start over uh, takes a lot of grit. It takes a lot of just downright hard work. There's no other way to put it. And, uh, and I think that's admirable. And to get to where they are today in that short period of time uh, is, uh, is amazing. Florida Crystals Corporation has become a world leader in sustainable farming. The Von Hools pioneered farming and production of organic sugar cane and rice in South Florida, a major challenge in the subtropical climate. Florida Crystals continues to be the only producers of organic sugar cane products 100% made in the USA. In another probably five or six more days, we're going to take it out and plant it in the field. So you see already nice leaves and the it roots has are very, there. Very, very good root, root program. Huh? Correct. And it's amazing how, how fast that, uh, that the red root, 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 roots are growing out. Yeah. And I see the plants are to totally clean, huh? Yeah. Beautiful, 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 yeah. beautiful color. So, so Agriculture is a long-term play. I mean, our, our varieties and crop research takes years to gestate and to unfold. Their vision and their, their long-term commitment and especially their long-term commitment to sustainable agriculture, sustainable farming, to communities, to employees, um, to technology, has, a, has us all excited. In here we're using one plant of cane to produce 10,000 plants. By staying on the cusp of the latest technology, the company has been able to increase production while meeting or exceeding some of the most stringent environmental standards in the world. The company employs scientists who study nutrient absorption, soil conservation, water quality, and even wildlife habitat. Best management practices include rotating sugar cane with rice and sweet corn and removing nutrient-rich soil from canals to spread back on fields. 
We're getting more production per acre, more sugar per acre. Just the genetics of, uh, of, 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 of the plant itself, how are we going to uh, grow seedlings, different varieties that are being developed on, on, a, on a continuing basis. Uh, the, the speed at which you can develop uh, the, all these processes, that was, things, things would take five, ten years to really to be able to prove out. You, you do it in months or faster. It, it, so it, it is uh, it's fascinating to see. Along with quantity, these processes also deliver a quality product. The Von Hools have been instrumental in making Florida a leader in these fields. There's a lot of countries that don't produce quality raw sugar. Uh, Florida produces, you know, one of the one of the higher higher qualities raw sugar uh, in the world. No question about it. This successful sugar production has turned the business into one of the area's largest employers and continues to help grow the economy. In the middle of the farmland, the Von Hools have also established two new schools to provide quality education to local families. I'm a great believer in education, and I think we want to give something back to the community, and we've picked the area of, the, of where the really more underprivileged people are in, the, in the outside Pahokee, where, and it's a duty for us. It really is a duty, and not a pleasure, and a pleasure, but it's a duty. We have to give back to those who are given to us. They have also established New Hope Charities with a goal of helping to strengthen disadvantaged communities by providing assistance and after-school programming for local families. It's just a way of saying thank you to, to the Glades community and creating just opportunities for the next generation of, of, of members of the Glades community to, to better their educational opportunities, to better their you know, future employment opportunities. And there's some really terrific young people out there who we're seeing coming back and serving their community, rebuilding their community, being entrepreneurs and employees and even in our business. So it's exciting to see the, the fruits of that. The company now has agriculture operations around the world and includes subsidiaries Domino and c and Sugar. The brothers have had success in other industries, such as real estate. Basically, that's been, you know, rather recent. And, uh, but, but the company has, uh, you know, it's still primarily a sugar company, but it's diversifying to do other things, too. And uh, we're very excited about those, too. But those who know them best say they are never too far from their roots. They've been important to uh, employment and the economy in the Glades. Uh, they work diligently. Uh, on environmental legislation and political legislation uh, in uh, uh, farm bills and nationally and state. And uh, they've just been a good uh, voice uh, defending agriculture uh, a lot of times against uh, those who uh, don't think as much about agriculture as we do. They've, they, they really epitomize the American dream. And um, we can't tell them out all the time because they're humble. Um, but we're really proud of them. They've come here, they've uh, built a, 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 a fabulous enterprise that has benefited so, so many people. People ask me, what do you do? What are your profession? I say, farmer. And sometimes they look at me, farmer, you know, that's what I am. I've done everything in a farm.